Hello, thanks for joining me for another review then. Right, today we are going to London and the Gypsy Hill Brewing Company and this is their South Poor Amber Ale. It's coming at 4.2% ABV and it's brewed with Cascade, Simcoe and Magnum. So, um, this beer was packaged quite a while back on the 3rd of January of 2018, uh, best before the 2nd of Fe uh, 2nd of February, 2nd of July of 2018, so I'm reviewing this on the 19th of May, so thank you to my good friend Simon for bringing this beer around for me to try, um, it's a little bit, I'm not going to edit it, but it's a little bit, I should have checked really, a little bit of debris on top of the can, so I'll just quickly do that, being professional and all. Apparently, can't be bothered to do any more. So yeah, three thirty mil can. Let's crack it open then. This is their one of their core range beers, and there is a little bit of a story behind it. I've just read up quickly. So beer in a glass. Leave that bit at the top there to get my my nose in. So yeah. It's uh, it's quite I'd say it's quite light for a for an amber ale, but it's only 4.2 percent, is it? Yeah, 4.2 percent. So it's a very low ABV beer. Um, there's not going to be a whole host of malt going into that, so it gives it the appearance of a slightly kind of a lighter amber to my to my kind of um, minuscule memory. Anyway, um, slightly hazy, but not nothing too drastic there it's sort of yeah I mean I haven't got to the bottom of the can so we'll find out in a minute if it, if it clouds up any but at the moment <coughs> it's slightly hazy but not you can see through the glass it's just more the colour let's get an aroma then yeah lots of kind of caramel Sticky kind of toffee, a sweet aroma. Kind of a roasty, slightly roasty, toasty caramel. Yeah, let's give it a try. Cheers, cheers, side. Very sweet. Caramel, very light though, compared to other kind of red ales or amber ales, whatever you want to call them. Toffee, caramel, I've already said it three times. Uh, let me have another taste. Sweet. Apart from that, obvious kind of things that I've been saying for about half an hour, it's more... It's quite subdued. I mean, it might maybe because when this beer was canned in... January and it's now three quarters of the way through May so yeah it, it's, it's getting on for five months old or well, nearly six months old so this a beer a bit fresher may have had a little bit more things going on with it There is a slight hoppiness there, more kind of, it's more a bit more malt for, not an unpleasant malt, I think I think they use caramel, uh, caramel, <coughs> premium English caramel they use in this, crystal malt 135, ruby malt 
M.O. Pale um, Red X. No idea. Not being a home brewer, I don't know some of these uh, some of these malts. Um, but um, the artwork is by Charlie. Was Gypsy Gypsy's number one. Southpaw is his home brew recipe and our first full batch beer at the brewery. So there you go. Um, I've reviewed a couple of beers, I think, of Gypsy Hill, and I've had one or two of their specials, either in bars or bottle shares or or whatnot. Um, I think I had the De Decident, Decident Porter, I believe. I think that was one of my first reviews, or well, certainly within the first fifty reviews I I'd done. I think it was in, within the twenties, but. Um, what I remember that was a good beer and um, that was in back in 2015 so I think this is actually the only third beer that I've actually reviewed from these guys um, and it's the first time I've had this as well so it's not too bad but I, I think I just I, I'm probably gonna have it again it's a nice beer definitely buy it again but I, I reckon this is slightly subdued and they're saying we chose the hoppier end of the amber spectrum once again using all American hops and plenty of them so plenty of them um, what I'm getting out of this beer now I was expecting a little bit more so that leads me to think that yeah they may have faded a touch but it's a nice beer though nothing wrong with it it's a very pleasant kind of malt build as well um, and you could probably get away with it more in this style rather than a, just a straight up say pale or IPA One more taste then, I'll get a rating. I'm just going to review it based on what I'm getting out of this can for me now, today, this time of day, whatever. Um, it's nice, but it's not really rocking my world or anything like that. I'm going to give this a 3.25 out of 5. Um, so yeah, six and a half out of ten on on the uh, ten scale, if you like. But um, I'm just gonna try it again. It's gonna be better than this. I'm I'm pretty sure of it. Chipsy Hill, really good brewery. Um, just it's just slightly older can. That's all. So that's what I'm getting out of nearly a five month old can. Anyway, let me know if you've had it before. Let me quickly run to untap, see what's going on over here. Um, so the total of forty. 800 ratings total, 114 in the last 30 days, and it's had 3,883 ratings. Um, it's coming in at 3.52, so which is a seven. Is that a seven? Yeah, it's a seven. So I'm giving it a six and a half, which is a 3.25. Um, so it's a little bit lower than that, but again, I, it would have been probably higher than that. Fresh, it could have been maybe an eight or a four, something like that, who knows. Anyway, thanks for watching then. Let me know you've had this one before from the uh, Gypsy Hill Brewing Company for their Southpaw Hambrough. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.